Welcome back, kids. We got a good story for you today. Hey, guys. Hey, you have any pets out there? Because this one's about a dog. I bet his name is Carl. It's called... Carl's Christmas. Here we go. We're going to grandma's and then to church. Take good care of the baby, Carl. Well, that's not good. <laughs> They're leaving their baby to Carl. Interesting. This must have been long ago before there were rules and laws. The baby's riding the dog like a horse. Mm-hmm. That is cool. Oh, this looks like a picture book. Very few words. Well, there's some crazy wrapping paper going on there and dogs all in the lights. The baby certainly is creative. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Looks like the dog's helping too. Carl. Oh, look, Carl's helping zip up the pajamas. This is crazy. I can't believe this dog's over <laughs> here. This is, I don't get it. Okay. That is one smart dog, though. If you were going to have any dog watch your kid, it's going to be this one. It better be Carl. Or not, because he's taking them on outside. Ooh, now they're shopping for toys, it looks like. Uh, looking at the toys. And look at that. Looks like that's a parent there not paying any, any mind to the fact that there's a baby on a dog. Who's wandering the streets. It says, uh, be our 1,000th customer and win this beautiful Christmas basket. Mm-hmm. Looks like good old Carl and the baby were uh, the 1,000th customer. And uh, the store owner was like, hey, this is normal. Baby on a dog. Uh-huh. Now we've got the carolers. Saying, come on, sing along. Oh, and you can see Carl, he's going. Roo, 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 roo. Well, he's excited. Now they're looking through the window at another group of children who are probably looking for Santa up there in that chimney. Yeah, I wonder if their parents left them alone too, but just didn't have a pet to take him on a ride. Right. Carl's on a sprint. Looks yeah, like they're he... playing with the dog there. Looks like he may have found a cat. Yeah, looks huh. like a tabby cat. Mm. Now we're all in front of the fireplace with uh, Tabby Cat, two little mice, Carl, the baby, and that other dog. And they're all sleeping. Well, look at that cat. He sleeps funny. Sleeps like a dog. Yeah. Oh, there's the baby. I don't know if that's drool. It's keeping him safe. Sprinting to the door. Oh, and who could it be? Not the parents. No. But Santa Claus. Oh, Santa Claus. So the parents aren't home, huh? That's all their weird. reindeer. Interesting. Hopefully Carl remembered to close the door. <laughs> hey, look, Carl's helping bring in Santa's sack. Helpful. A little cheese for the mouses, a bone for the dog, and a stinky old fish for the cat. Wonder what Carl got. The joy of helping. See, this time Santa didn't come through the chimney. Well, the door was wide open. Carl's waiting for him. There we go. Santa's giving him, oh, looks like a collar. Oh, yeah. He might be attaching a collar. Looks like he came in through the front door and out the chimney. Oh, and good old Carl's taking baby back up into bed. Oh, it looks like Carl's all pooped. He's been watching that baby for, seems like, the whole day. Yeah. Even into Christmas night, which is odd. And there's Carl's paw print. Okay, well, there weren't a lot of words in this book. That's what you call a picture book. Oh, yeah. And these are the type of books where you can conjure up your own story inside of your head. Oh, yes, you can. Uh, who do we call to get out of here? It's not Santa Claus. It's Candy Cane. Candy Cane. Here we go. Bye, Bye. kids. Bye.